So there's a brand new structure deck that just came out here in the TCG and it features the Fire King monsters as well as some absolutely busted staples that you can find in this structure deck. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up this structure deck, breaking it down, and then we're going to be doing a $30 building on a budget deck profile with just three of these structure decks. You guys can get these structure decks for probably like nine or 10 bucks, maybe 11 bucks at your locals. So with $30, what can you build with this? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I have a list already put together and it's absolutely insane. So with that being said, let's get right into the opening. So here is the brand new Fire King structure deck in all of its glory. You guys can see the contents over here. If you guys want to pause the video, you guys can check it out. But we're going to be getting right into it right now. I'm so excited. I've seen some really cool openings for this. And I'm really going to be honest with you guys when I say that this structure deck has so much going for it. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the way Konami like, packages their structure decks anymore. I don't know. It feels like it's a lot harder to pull out. But here it is starting off with the Sacred Fire Garunix, the brand new, I guess, the retrain of uh, the Fire king runics right and let's see if we can open this up and i'm going to show you guys how absolutely insane this structure deck is so first things first you guys have the brand new sacred fire king runics absolutely insane card for the deck if a monster that was originally fired is destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon this card from your hand or your graveyard so it's a really powerful extender for you and then it says if this card is normal or special summon you can destroy a fire beast beast warrior or wing beast monster in your hand deck or face up in the field and if you do this card gains attack equal to half the destroyed monsters attack but the main effect that you're using it for is a destroy effect you don't really care about gaining the attack more so destroying a monster is always going to get some of your other fire king monster effects off which is very powerful so the fire king runix over here you have the fire king high avatar kirin absolutely beautiful card i actually really like the artwork on this card so during the main phase if this card is in your hand quick effect you can destroy another fire monster in your hand or face up on the field and if you do special summon this card if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard you can special summon a fire king monster from your hand or graveyard except itself then you can destroy one one card on the field this can be your card this can be your opponent's card as well so absolutely nice card in this effect as well fire king avatar orang bali if a face up fire king monster you control is destroyed by card effect you can special summon this card from your hand and then when a spell trap or card effect is activated while this card is on the field you can quick effect and negate the activation if you do destroy another fire monster in your hand or face up on the field so it gets the destruction effects off and it's a negate for you so very very powerful card then we have the brand new fire king sanctuary all of these new cards are ultra rares which i really like i'm gonna be honest with you i really like when they put the new cards as ultras instead of commons and supers because this is really what the deck is going to want to focus on right so brand new fire king sanctuary when this card is activated you can place a fire king island from your deck face up to your field zone once per turn if a card in your field zone will be destroyed by card effect you can destroy one fire monster in your hand or face up on the field instead again triggering off all your fire king monsters and it has that protection as well and then once per turn if your opponent special summons a monster you can immediately after this effect resolves exceed summon a fire exceed monster using fire king monsters you control and that's really powerful because the new fire king monster they have is really really nice and here it is the garunix eternity this card is really powerful as well so two level eight monsters if this card is xc summoned you can destroy all other monsters on the field so pairing it with sanctuary over here means you have a quick effect on your opponent's turn to destroy all monsters they control which is really nice and then you can detach a material from this card target a spell or trap card destroy it if you do it gains 500 attack and then if this card is destroyed while it has a material you can special summon fire king monsters from your graveyard up to the number of materials this monster had so essentially if it has one material you can special summon one right so we have the Garunix Eternity. Another card over here, Fire King Skyburn. I know I'm going through each one one by one, but of course these are the new cards. Once we get to the older cards, we can just kind of sift through them. But I really want to show you guys what these new cards do, because some of these new cards are so busted for the deck, and they make this deck run so, so well. So you can target an equal number of Fire King monsters you control and cards your opponent controls, destroy them. So it's essentially a quick play spell, which you can destroy like two Fire Kings you control, two cards your opponent control. And then if a Fire King monster you control will be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard as well. So this is really nice because it's a protection for you as well so really powerful card and i think the last card here uh no there's two cards i forgot about that ponix over there all right so let's get into this one so echelon of the fire kings special summon three fire monsters one beast one beast warrior and one wing beast one each from your hand deck or graveyard their effects are negated but destroy them during the end phase you can banish this card from the graveyard your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when you normal summon or special summon a fire king monster so really powerful trap card over here and i think this is the last new card from the structure deck legendary fire king ponix very powerful card here as well i really like the artwork on this one too i really like the little chicken but if a monster 
move that was originally fired is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add a Fire King spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So again, you can search all of these brand new Fire King cards over here. And then during the next standby phase, after this card was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, it adds itself back to the hand from the graveyard. So that's really nice as well. So it's kind of like a recursion. And I believe that is it for the new cards over here. Then we're moving on to a lot of the old cards. And the really cool thing about this structure deck is it gives you pretty much everything you need for Fire Kings, right? Which is really nice. So you have Garunix here, Bayrong over here, you have Yaksha, Kirin. We have a Blaster, which is an absolutely insane common reprint over here. We also have Burner, the baby. We have Bear Man, which is really nice. Wolf Bark. Vanisher, the True King Vanisher is really powerful here as well. This is an OG card over here. Dogaran, it's always good to get a Kaiju. That's another staple for you. I'm actually going to pull out some of the staples because I want to show you guys how many staples this structure deck actually has. So you have your Blaster, you have your Dogaran over here, Blazing Mars. This is actually a GX manga card, which is really cool. Bonfire Colossus, you have Sacred Phoenix, Royal Firestorm Guard, really nice OG card over here. Alpha, oh, Droll and Lockbird, bro. Like, look at these cards. All of these cards are staples, which is absolutely insane. Then you got Onslaught of the Fire King, Circle of the Fire Kings, Rekindling, really nice if you're playing Edison format. Obviously, really good in today's format as well, but really nice for Edison format. Tenki is a staple. Dark Hole is a staple. Traden's a staple. Herald of the Abyss, staple. Like, there's so many staples here. Flameville Counter is another cool card that you guys can play in uh, Edison format as well. Torrential, Solemn Judgment, Imperm, Imperm Common over here. Giant Trainer Common, Hida Common. Like, there are so many powerful cards. You have the Avatar Garunix and then the Avatar Arvada here as well. So, that's it for the structure deck. It's uh, uh, it's a lot of really powerful staples here and a lot of really powerful reprints of course you're getting all the fire king cards you need but you're getting all these insanely powerful cards judgment imperm drola lockbird alpha dogaran dark hole herald like you can build a side deck with this deck because herald is really good against a purely matchup right as well as all the new cards and that's it for the structure deck guys i want to show you guys the play mat though real quick I realized I didn't really get to show you guys the playmat, but uh, I think it's actually a really cool playmat here as well. This in uh, the rubber version would look absolutely stunning. That's it for the opening though. Let's get right into the deck profile because I'm excited to show you how powerful this deck just with three structure decks can really be. So let's get right into the deck profile. Of course, luckily, you guys heard me explain all of the cards earlier, so I don't have to do too much explaining, but I do want to explain some of the ratios. Three Ponix. Ponix is one of the most important cards in your deck. Of course, consistency piece on normal summon, on special summon gets you a Fire King card really nice. Two of the Sacred King Fire Karunix. This card is absolutely insane, but the only reason you're playing two, again, is because it's a hard once per turn, and it's really easy to get this card to your hand. It's really easy to get all your combos off, so that's why I'm playing only the two. However, we are playing three of the Fire King High Avatar King. Kirin. This card is absolutely insane. Being able to float when it's destroyed. On top of that, it special summons itself to your side of the field from your hand. Very powerful card. Three of the Kirin. And then two of the Rangbali. Now, while Rangbali is a very powerful card providing you with a negate, it's one of those cards that special summons itself as a hard once per turn. So that's why we're only playing the two rather than playing the three, right? However, you are playing some of the old school Fire King cards because some of them are still very, very powerful. So three Fire King Avatar Arvada. This is a negate for you as well, specifically a monster negate. And then on top of that, just like all the other Fire King cards, it floats when it's destroyed as well as to Bearong. Bearong is very nice because Bearong kind of has an effect like Rang Bali where if something is destroyed you can special summon it but it's not a hard once per turn which is nice and then on top of that during the next standby phase after it's destroyed you can search a fire king card from your deck to your hand so it's another consistency piece for you which is really nice and then lastly we are playing one of the fire king high avatar Garunix. Now keep in mind the reason we're playing some of these ratios as well is because we are looking to have different cards like for example beast warriors wing beast and beast so if you you guys don't know the only beast is the kirin which is also why we're playing three of the kirin but we also have a ton of wing beasts in the phoenixes over here and then we have a ton of beast warriors in these monsters over here so the ratios are really important to keep note because you do need different types for some of your combos right so that's why we're playing the ratios that we're playing with the monsters for the spells we are playing three of the fire king sanctuary absolutely busted card for the deck you have to be playing three sanctuary it also gets you to your fire king island and that's why we're only playing two fire king island because you can always get to it with your sanctuary very important card for the strategy as well and then we are playing one fire king skyburn and one circle of the fire king so the reason we're only playing one on one is while they're very powerful they do require some setup circle of the fire king helps you dodge a lot of stuff as well so that's why we're playing the one of very powerful card however we do want to make room for a lot of the staples in this deck so that's why we're just playing one on one we're also playing a rekindling which is technically 
technically not a fire king card but it essentially is you can special summon pretty much most of the monsters in the deck and it's a really powerful card however the only reason we're playing one is because it's a card that does require setup so for that reason you don't want to be playing more than one where you kind of can brick on it in this deck you really want to be able to see this in the mid to late game and then you're good to go and then lastly we're playing one echelon of the fire kings very important card in a lot of your combos but again you don't really want to open this this is a card that you're going to see as part of your combo as well so one echelon and then lastly for some consistency we are playing the three tanky tanky is a very powerful card of course being able to search any of your beast warriors so very nice in that sense giving them a boost in attack as well is really powerful so that's it for the fire king slash consistency cards very powerful cards and i think these are actually like the perfect ratios and to round off the deck here we are playing three jewel and lockbird three imperm these hand traps are very powerful in today's format very important and it's crazy that the structure deck provides these cards we're also playing three solemn judgment of course you always want to go first and judgment is such a powerful card and lastly three torrential tribute that rounds it off for 40 torrential also synergizes really well with this deck because if you are destroying your fire king monsters they're all going to get their effects off so it's really nice it wipes your opponent's board wipes your board however when you wipe your board you're at least going to get something out of it so three torrential tribute very important and that rounds off the 40 card for the extra deck you're really just playing everything you have access to so you're playing three garunix eternity one of the main important cards in the deck as well so you have to be playing three three giant trainer three diamond dire as well as three hita it's only 12 cards we only have 12 cards granted this is one of the most important ones to be making so you have to be maxing out on all of them because this is really all you got Lastly, I want to put together a side deck because this deck actually gives you enough cards to make a very powerful side deck in today's format. So we are playing three Dogoran. Dogoran, of course, a Kaiju is always going to be a Kaiju. A Kaiju's are always going to be good, which is really nice. And then if you open two Kaiju's, you, of course, you can special summon someone to your opponent's side of the field, getting rid of one of their monsters, and then you can get your own on the field, which is really nice as well. Three Alpha, another card that kind of breaks boards as well. Being able to break boards going second is really important with this deck because with the deck itself, the actual core doesn't really break boards. So going into games two or games three, if you are going second, these cards help you a lot. Three dark hole dark hole is actually really nice because it does synergize a little bit with your monsters as well if you destroy them at least you get their effects as well right so three dark hole is really powerful as well again most of these cards here you guys are going to see is for going second because the main deck already is so powerful for going first right and then we're playing three herald of the abyss absolutely insane card that you get it in this structure deck really powerful against purely which is actually meta in today's format so it's really nice that you guys kind of get these anti-meta cards that are actually relevant right now it's not like you're getting a mystical space typhoon like you're getting actual relevant meta cards which is really nice and then lastly i wanted something for going first First, three chain destruction chain destruction is actually really nice because when a monster with 2000 or less attack is summoned you can target one of them destroy it and then it destroys all cards with that name in the controller's hand and main deck so funny enough going first against purely this is actually really powerful against that but it's also good against a lot of other decks as well which is kind of nice it can come up but again with this deck you have so many different options for these last three cards i just thought chain destruction was actually kind of one of the best for today's format and that rounds off the deck over here. I'm actually shocked how powerful this deck is just right out of the gate. Three structure decks is all you need. Having access to hand traps like Droll, Imperm, Judgment, having ha access to a side deck pretty much with all of these cards is really powerful over here. Honestly, if you wanted to keep it as budget as possible, I would say pick up a few powerful cards to throw in the extra deck, but you don't really need to add anything to the main deck or the side deck. Of course, if you can, it would be powerful, but if you can't and you only want to pick up three structure decks, add a few cards to the extra deck and this deck is actually insanely powerful. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That is building on a budget using three Fire King structure decks and being able to build a main deck, an extra deck, and a side deck. This structure deck is absolutely insane. And if you guys haven't got your hands already on it and you guys want to play something new, this I think is the actual structure deck for you. I didn't even mean to rhyme there. It just kind of happened. But I think this structure deck is very powerful. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We're uploading every single day in the month of December. So if you guys want to stay tuned into all that, make sure you guys subscribe. We're on the way to 16,000. That was the goal for 2020. Three, I think we can make it happen. I believe in the Spanko squad. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.